Good morning, everyone. On Wednesday, May 20th. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, good to have this part of the routine together. Uh, maybe something that even after all of this is over and we have a little bit more uh, regularity. Hey, Brenda. Even with a little more regularity back in our schedules, this might be something that I, I continue to do whether it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, just because um, I think it's a, it's a good thing. And if people still show up, um, then that would be great. All right, so I'm just gonna get my computer set up. I feel like Mr. Rogers. Okay, this is what I need to do. I'm getting my computer set up so that I can see what is going on. And, um, and then we'll get started. So, today, uh, what we're going to do for the um, what we're going to do for the video uh, for the daily prayer is actually from uh, so Monday we did ELW or LBW uh, Lutheran Book of Worship. Today um, we're going to do something from the Book of Common Prayer. It's it's fairly simple, it's straightforward. Uh, there's some different aspects you can add to it. Um, Good morning, Dale. Dale, I see that you officially have your own thing on there instead of Becky's so that I can see you. Um, so I apologize in the past, Dale, for not uh, recognizing you every time. Um, but, so there's some different things for the daily prayer uh, that you can add into it. Um, but for us today, we're going to keep it pretty simple. And then on Friday, as I said before, on Friday we will be doing Luther's Catechism daily prayer, uh, morning prayer, if you will. So common prayer is used by uh, a lot of different uh, Christian denominations, um, you know, Lutherans, Episcopalians uh, use it. Um, uh, there's just a, a lot of, uh, I don't know, some Methodists that use it, Presbyterians. Um, it's like I said, it's a straightforward kind of prayer. Um, but it's, it's a, they have daily prayer, midday prayer, evening prayer, um, all those different things. Okay, so this is these are the daily prayers, and you can even just look them up. You can Google them, common prayer. Um, the common prayer for Wednesday, May 20th. So we shall begin. O Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Psalm 103, verses 1 through 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul and forget not all his benefits. He forgives all our sins and heals our all your infirmities. He redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things and your youth is renewed like an eagle's. Find us in your love, O Lord, and lead us in your path. And then a reading from Luke 8, 40 through 56. A reading from Luke 8, 40. Let me make sure I have that correct. Luke 40, yeah, Luke 8, 40 through 56. So let me get that. 8, 40 through 56. So what I'm using today for that, just as a little resource for anyone who wants to use it, if you ever need uh, the Bible online, just quickly, um, you can just type in Bible Gateway, and on Bible Gateway, there's um, you can look up any verse in the Bible. And what I like about Bible Gate Gateway, I am not uh, being uh, good morning, Joanna. I'm not uh, endorsed uh, by them; they're not paying me to say this. Uh, but what I like about BibleGateway.com is when you type in the Bible verse, it also gives you the option of picking um, what translation of the Bible you want to see. So from the New Revised Standard Version, this is the reading that goes along with today, May 20th, uh, Common Prayer. 
Now when Jesus returned, the crowd welcomed him, for they were all waiting for him. Just then there came a man named Jairus, a leader of the synagogue. He fell at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house, for he had, only, he had an only daughter, about 12 years old, who was dying. As he went, the crowds pressed in on him. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years, and though she had spent all she had on physicians, no one could cure her. She came up behind him and touched the fringe of his clothes, and immediately her hemorrhage stopped. Then Jesus asked, Who touched me? When all denied it, Peter said, Master, the crowd surround you and press in on you. But Jesus said, Someone touched me, for I noticed that power had gone out from me. When the woman saw that she could not remain hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared in the presence of all the people why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. While he was still speaking, someone came from the leader's house to say, Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher any longer. When Jesus heard this, he replied, Do not fear. Only believe, and she will be saved. When he came to the house, he did not allow anyone to enter with him, except Peter, John, and James, and the child's father and mother. They were all weeping and wailing for her, but he said, Do not weep, for she is not dead but sleeping. And they laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But he took her by the hand and called out, Child, get up. Her spirit returned, and she got up at once. Then he directed them to give her something to eat. Her parents were astounded, but he ordered them to tell no one what had happened. The word of the Lord. So, here's uh, an immediate thought, um, an initial immediate thought when I read this. I don't know, um, you can comment if you want, and if you don't want, you don't have to comment. I don't know if anybody else, when you read scripture, um, if just immediately you get some kind of thoughts about like, well, what is this trying to say? Um, or if there's something that jumps out at you. Um, something that jumped out at me today about this reading is the fact that um, this woman, the woman in the, in the middle of the story, the woman who had had hemorrhages for 12 years, um, hello, Hank. The woman who had had hemorrhages for 12 years uh, sneaks up to get Jesus' blessing. Good morning, John. This, this woman sneaks up in the middle of the reading um, in verses 42 through 48 of Luke chapter 8. This woman sneaks up to find Jesus and just grabs onto uh, his robe, and she is healed by that. And what I think is amazing about that, what, what gets me immediately about that, is that Jesus does not call out to her. Um, she does not call out to him. And it's simply her faith is so strong that all she has to do is get near Jesus. She just needs to, to grab onto his robe. And by grabbing onto his robe, she's healed. Um, for me, that is just an amazing amount, an extreme amount of faith that someone can have to feel like they just, they just have to get close to Jesus. That's all they need. They don't need all of these extra things. Uh, she doesn't need to stay and have a conversation with them. If anything, she tries to get away because she's afraid of what will happen for the fact that she went and uh, without his permission, if you will, uh, touched his, his robe. Uh, and then, in fact, Jesus obviously doesn't get mad at her, but says, you know, your faith has made you well. Uh, I think that's something, an inspiration for all of us, realizing that, um, that we might think we have to do all these different things to uh, be a good Christian, uh, to follow God. Uh, and I think what the story shows us is as long as we are close to Jesus, as long as we, as we have such a tremendous amount of faith that we know just by being near him is what saves us, uh, walking near him. Uh, I think that's the faith that we need. So that'll be the end of my little vignette on that. Okay. And the prayer uh, is not that much longer for common prayer. Uh, continues um, with uh, the Lord's Prayer. So let us... Pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And we'll conclude with this benediction. May, uh, may God please give us the grace to be present to those moments, Lord, when your love is real enough to taste. Amen. Morning, Matt. And uh, I know you're just getting here for this part, Matt, but take this benediction and this will be good for you as well. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. God loves you. Till next time, go in peace, serve the Lord. Have a great day.